Meanwhile, the El Paso City Council holding a special meeting on Thursday to go over the results of an internal audit of a fuel card spending for the calendar year 2022. That audit found that City Rep Cassandra Hernandez and former City Rep Claudio Rodriguez had used their fuel cards more than any other elected official that year. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis going through dozens of documents with all of their transactions and Tani joining us live in the newsroom with what she was able to find. Andy, members of City Council need to sign this document stating that they understand and will abide by City of El Paso's fuel card policy. However, following the release of just how much each member of Council spent, not just on their procurement cards, but their gas card as well. KTSM received multiple documents showing how each member of Council used their gas card in 2022. According to the city documents, in that year, Mayor Oscar Leeser spent close to $1,200 and year-to-date has used almost $500. City Rep for District 4, Joel Molinar, used just about $700 in 2022 and so far this year has used $300. Those numbers are in stark contrast to City Representative for District 3. The document showed she used just over $6,000 in 2023 and year-to-date has already spent over $1,200. You can also see in these documents that it shows that there were multiple times Representative Hernandez would use the card, most of them only one day apart and, in one instance, three days in a row. Documents were also released about the city's procurement card used for personal expenses. Representative Alexandra Anella was shown to spend only $21 in September of 2022, $100 in November of that year, and as of April has only spent $17. In comparison, those same months, Representative Hernandez spent over $3,000 in September and almost the same amount in November. April totals show she spent $750. As for the gas purchases, Representative Hernandez did release a statement which reads in part, quote, The internal auditor charter provides specific steps for the auditor to follow, and unfortunately, the city of El Paso's auditor failed to comply with the requirements outlined. The auditor neglected to allow my office sufficient time and process to address any observations and failed to fulfill the accountability criteria on page two of the charter. To this end, our family has decided to pay the city of El Paso $6,700, an amount that covers a year of authorized gas expenses using personal funds. Additionally, we have returned the gas car to the city manager's office. I hope this action effectively resolves any distraction caused by political motivated attacks. Vote to continue the investigation into the spending, but is unsure of when it will be resolved. We'll also have City Manager Tommy Gonzalez's spending documents later on KTSM 9 News at 6. Reporting live from the newsroom, Tony Davis, KTSM 9 News.